Hey, did you guys see this? You guys like that? I'm on uh, I'm on Spotify now, by the way, guys. You have to download it, but <laughs> what up? I couldn't get on iTunes because it's too confusing, and I'm a boomer. Uh, but I have some of my podcasts up, so we're on Spotify. <laughs> what you do? What's up, dog? Um. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into the content. People are so confused right now. Uh, <laughs> it's because I made the tag of this of this live stream that Trump won. Okay, so the reason I did that is because we have our uh, glorious God King president said, I won this election by a lot. A rather bold claim, though I would say it's not true. Now, before we get into this whole thing, um, let's go through a couple. Let's, let's call through a couple things. First and foremost, I actually like Donald Trump more than I like Biden. I really do. I'm a New Yorker. He's a New Yorker. He, I understand his exaggeratory bullshit language. I get it. But I voted for Biden because Biden, in my opinion, has better policy in general. Okay? That's where I'm coming from. I don't dislike Trump. I think he's a funny meme. I'm going to miss him. Uh, but frankly, I don't think that he was a great president. There are a lot of flaws in his presidency. Okay? Now... Donald Trump has lost the election. Uh, Biden has won. I'm not exactly surprised. Uh, and Trump is having a fucking meltdown. You know, things about how people weren't allowed in changing, uh, you know, whatever. They weren't allowed to watch. What does it say? Observe when I allowed in the, yeah, the counting rooms. I won the election, blah, 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 blah. So he talks about how he got 71 million legal votes. That's crazy. Um, this idea of legal votes, I'm sure it's, it's true. But... Um, if we look at the election map, I'm going to assume that uh, Biden got more. So he got actually Trump apparently got 70, almost 71 million. Biden got 75 million. Uh, the reason he's using the term legal voting is because he's trying to invalidate some votes. But him saying that they're illegal doesn't mean that they're illegal. I want you to understand when he says legal, he wanted everybody to stop counting ballots on Election Day. What you guys have to understand is that's not how it works. That's not how this works. Okay. Keep in mind, the coronavirus has scared a lot of people. There's a lot of factors here. It scared a lot of people, so a lot of people opted in towards mail-in voting. On top of that, and we and the majority, statistically speaking, like there's three times more Democrats who vote by mail in general before all the coronavirus than Republicans. So of course they were going to be more towards Biden. Historically they are. Okay, like we knew they're going to lean more left. Like yeah, we we all knew it. Okay. On top of that, more people voted this cycle. In general, I would assume, I mean, he said he got the most legal votes, which means I would assume that uh, Biden got a shit ton of legal votes too. More people were voting because it's not only they, there were more people home because of the coronavirus and they're not working, but we also had early voting this year, I think in every single state. And so it's easy for you. If you can go any day of the week, of course, you're going to have, a, we're going to be more likely to go. I think my mom went on a Saturday. I went on election day. I didn't give a shit. My mom went on a Saturday, you know? And so, like, people need to understand that, like, right off the bat, we need to acknowledge that, like, it would be better for the United States if we could vote for, like, a week straight. Because, like, voting is a, a, it's not, a, it's a right of ours. It's not a privilege. It's a right. And so people should be able to go and vote. Um, so Donald Trump wanting to stop people from counting votes because he had won at some point is very, very much a suppression of our constitutional right to vote. Okay? Let's keep that in mind. All right, so let's move on here. We're going to go through, and so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through all the, th the different conspiracy theories and talk about it, talk about them. And actually, I want to keep something, guys, keep something in mind. Voter fraud is very real. It exists. Every election, I will guarantee you, has some level of voter fraud. But we're not talking necessarily about voter fraud here. We're talking about widespread, like systematic voter fraud from like Democrats or one party or the other. Okay. Of course, individuals are going to do the wrong thing. Of course, human error is going to mess things up. But at the end of the day, there's never going to be a perfect system to count a, like what, 150 million votes. It's never going to happen. Okay. We need to establish though massive swings in like, you know, some kind of systematic, you know, some systematic movement to suppress votes from one side or the other. And that's what we're going to, that, that has not been substantiated. Okay. So let's get into this here. We're going to go these piece by piece. I had all you guys send me as much conspiracy theory stuff as you could. And we're going to go through it. 
Uh, so this is just the first one. It says USPS uh, process 150,000 ballots after election day, jeopardizing thousands of votes. So the reason that we're – I can't even read this goddamn article because Washington Post can suck it. But I, I don't need to because I'm going to let you know. Like I had said before, as if, you're, if you sent your vote in by the 3rd, by election day in the mail, it has to get counted legally. If those, those are the standards and the rules that we set. So this is irrelevant to me. Okay? That's it. That's, that's it. Okay? Uh, this is kind of irrelevant to me. I don't know if they're, you know, I guess they process them after election day. So it seems like a bigger deal. I don't know. But that's on the USPS. Uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you. That's on the USPS. Those people still were allowed to vote. If it compromises those votes, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. If you think that the USPS is corrupt, now we're getting down a rabbit hole. So, and I'm, no, I'm not paying a dollar. Freak you. Anyway, uh, next we have the whole 128,000. I think it was 130,000 votes that went to uh, Biden. I hate using Snopes, but ugh. anyway, I remember the story. So there was a particular graph that was, that, you know, whatever it was associated with it. Let's see. Let's see the 108. Let's see if we can actually find the graph really quick. Or maybe it's been, you know, pl expunged from. This is the shitty graph. We want an actual decent graph. There it is. Here it is. There it's not. It's still not here. Where'd it go? Okay, you're a user nerd. Ugh. Why would I want an incognito window? I just can't. I can't press buttons. Suck my balls. There we go. I'm so smart. So this is the thing that people are having a meltdown over, right? So basically that Biden uh, got a shit ton of votes. He got like 130,000 votes. And, by and Trump didn't get any votes. Now, first and foremost, this is a grammatical error that was cured up uh before this was even really like before people even like reported the story they had they had changed it and it was a grammatical error in the chart not even the actual vote count but again it was it was changed like within i don't know a very short period of time but this was still pushed now i want to also debunk another thing they said trump got no votes magically but biden got all these votes there's a clear blip here for trump getting votes so clearly they attributed votes to him and they just fucked up the biden thing instant dead in the water that, you know, that one was so, I you know, people, it's a Google search away, my friends. Um, so that one's dead in the water. It was, a, it was a clerical error that was, you know, cleared up very quickly. So let's see. This one is about, oh, right. There was a claim that the uh, ballots were being thrown out. But apparently the person who claimed it wasn't even a poll worker. So how would they know? Um, I know that there is a video where you see like a, a guy take crumple up a, a thing and throw it away. There are, I would imagine, such thing as um, <clears throat> I don't know, ballots filled out incorrectly and actually can't be processed in general. That might be how they deal with them. What I would say for context is maybe that person did individually engage in some kind of like voter fraud. I guess you would call that right. But it's a federal, it's a felony. It's it's a, it's a felony to do that. And so I would go with a commonsensical perspective that there is not going to be individuals who are just nay naying votes out the window, just to just to stir the election in a particular spot. Common sense, I think, would dictate here that while you have one instance of somebody throwing away a ballot, it's probably explainable away, you know, explained away. Um, if you can't, you know, if you got one instance of it, I'm going to assume that it was like just maybe they didn't write their name on it or something. I don't know. Maybe they they might have wrote their something wrong on it. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because, again, one instance. Uh, we don't have any proof of widespread. Um, let's see what this one is. Wisconsin has not. All right. So then there's this another claim. So there is a claim that Wisconsin had counted more votes than they actually had people registered. What you guys need to know here is that in Wisconsin, they have day of uh, voter registration. So you can just vote that, you know, enroll the day of. Uh, but basically, the claim is that there were there were uh, 30, 3.1 million people registered to vote, but they actually got 3.2 million votes in, right? Crazy. The problem with that is that this uh, voter registration is based on the, uh, <laughs> this is based on the 2018 registration of the midterms. Uh, simply put, more people registered to vote this this year. It was actually up to thirty, almost three point seven million people. That's it. That's the whole conspiracy. That's <laughs> like, like they use numbers from twenty eighteen. They said, "Hey, this many people were registered in twenty eighteen, but this many people voted in twenty twenty. How does that work?" It's like because this is the twenty twenty active registered registered voters as of November first. 
There you go. I actually don't know if Wisconsin uh, has or, like a uh, day of registration. That, that, that might not be true. I, I think I got that confused with another day. But the point is, is it's just relevant because like I had said, uh, the numbers are completely off. Um, easy to debunk. Uh, let's see. Next one. Poll wa- uh, watchers emerged as a flash- flashpoint ballots. Okay. Yeah. So we have an instance, and I'm going to admit it's a little bit sus- suspect, but we have an instance of, um, I believe... Well, why the fuck did my live stream get banned? Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. My live my live stream got banned. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? My my live stream just got banned on Twitch for ten minutes for vulgar for vulgar shit. I guess it's because I'm <laughs> talking about voter fraud. <laughs> Bro, TikTok kills me. That's all I'm gonna say. TikTok absolutely kills me. Give me one sec. I'm just gonna. I'm just laughing at it. Okay. Anyway, no, I'm not permanently banned. It's just so stupid. TikTok is so annoying. Anyway, let's get back into this. Uh, <laughs> so fucking stupid. Anyway, I got banned. Oh no. All right. It's only for ten minutes. Don't worry. Anyway, uh, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Right. Okay. So this is the claim that Republican uh, poll watchers were being denied the the ability to watch polls. Now, here's the thing: we have to understand something. It is the coronavirus. They are maintaining particular standards that are you know stay six feet away from each other. Uh, so poll watchers aren't allowed to stand where they may want to stand. Now, I understand why this is sus, right? Um, but again, it's coronavirus. Like, unless your argument, and that can be some conservative arguments, is that like the coronavirus is a complete conspiracy, y- you got nothing, man. Like, people have to stand away from each other. On top of that, my understanding, and I may be wrong, but my understanding is, is that this these were actually, I think, live streamed. Like, there were there was live stream video of people being able to do this. Um, we may get to it later. Let me see if they have it a little bit later. I might not have included it in here specifically. Oh, I didn't. Okay. There are instances, though, of like, you know, uh, we'll talk about it now, of um, them putting boards over windows so people can't see inside. The thing is, and again, my understanding, and it does seem a little sus, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, is that those were put up because there was like, ri- like there was basically not riots, but they were getting a little crazy outside and they were harassing the workers. So they decided to minimize the view. They didn't fully minimize it. You could still see through it. You could still record if you wanted to. But again, they did do what was legal. It may have been wrong. I don't know. The coronavirus going on. I lost my uncle to the coronavirus. I tend to side with the precautions of the coronavirus. I don't think that postal worker or, or rather ballot counter should have to die. Um, you know, maybe you think that's a little extreme, but that's my perspective. So this honestly, I think this is unsubstantiated and I think it's a little bit of, it's it's noise. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, right. So there's a uh, Wisconsin turnout in line. Uh, it jumped 22%. So there was a claim that it went from, I believe 62%, a 62% voter turnout of what's registered in Wisconsin to 90%, which seems sus. Maybe they faked some ballots. Uh, if you go down here, there's a bunch of math that I don't give a shit about. Uh, but basically it went from 62, it went from 67% in 2016 to 72%. In 2020, of voter of like registered voters who actually hit turnout. Now we talked about it before. Why do you think that is? Because not only were people not able to work due to the coronavirus, but you could vote for a week. And Wisconsin is the state that allows same day uh, voter registration, so you can just go there, register, boom, you're good. There you go. Very, very simple. So this whole idea that there was a bunch of fabricated votes against Trump is rather ignorant and debunked very quickly with common sense and logic. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. There's this video where this, guy <laughs> where this guy claims that he has a bunch of ballots. Um, oh, Trump, you gotta do what you gotta do. And he's like, oh, they're all Trump. You gotta do what you gotta do. And then he burns fuck them. Trump. And he's like, fuck Trump. And he lights the bag on fire. These don't even look like ballots to me. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. I very highly doubt it though. Uh, this man is committing a federal uh, this is a federal felony. If this, even if this is true, it is definitely it would be, and I don't think it's true, but it would be indicative of voter fraud. But this is individualized voter fraud, and this guy would go to jail for like committing a felony. Uh, again, we're talking about like some kind of systematic anti-Republican, you know, thing going on. But apparently, this was actually proved to be fake. 
uh, on CNN, though, so fuck them. Either way, I'm telling you, the common sense dictates that this is simply not true. Uh, you don't want to know. I just, I just don't think it's true. And you want to know why I know it's not true, guys? Here's, here's I'm going to tell you. I know it's not true because no progressive uh, would burn this, this thing here with a plastic bag around it because we're too sensitive about the environment and we would cry. All right, it must have been a freaking right wing conspiracy poopy head. He doesn't care about the environment. Boom, Dest roasted. <laughs> no, but honestly, this is just completely uh, outlandish that this would even, you know, the suggestion that this is real is rather, uh, I would say, ignorant. Um, okay, then we have Sharpie Gate. Oh, okay, right here. I couldn't find the tweet because I'm old and lazy and stupid, but basically, I went through this in a video of mine, but we're going to quickly touch on that. So, there's this claim that uh, only Republicans were getting Sharpies in Arizona, I believe it is. Um, and then they would go home. They went home. There was a small group, and then they said they went home and they looked online, and their ballot was invalidated because of the sharpie. Uh, um, it's been reinforced multiple times that your vote does still count. And the explanation for why those people went home and their ballot said that they were invalidated is simply because those people registered for mail and voting, and they never voted by mail, and they decided to show up and vote in person. And so the website showed that they had invalidated their, or to some extent, they had like invalidated their vote. But simply put, they have to like zero out the mail-in claim before putting in the regular claim. That's pretty much it. I know that I maybe displayed that weirdly, but that's literally it. Uh, also, I don't think that there was any, there was no proof to even suggest that only Republicans got Sharpies. So... If it was a fuck up, it wasn't an anti-Trump fuck up. It was a. It would would have been like a, just a regular old fuck up. But again, the val they you know they're assuring that those ballots were counted. So I don't. I mean, you got to prove you know innocent until proven guilty, right? Am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah, even when it doesn't help your cause. All right. So twenty one thousand people in Pennsylvania did not vote. Ah, this is basically saying that these people didn't vote. There's no substantiated evidence. It's a little suspicious. What I will say when it comes to dead voting people, you get in this weird line where they're supposed to like cross reference the votes with uh, so like you know social security claims of death and whatnot. I'm sure that there are individuals, and we'll see that in this next uh, thing here. With New York, there are individuals who send in their dead relative or friends uh, vote in to try to vote for a particular person. I'm sure it's true. I'm not going to say it's not true. I, I, in fact, I could, I would, I would, I don't know if I'll put my life on it, but you know, uh, but, but I'm sure it's actually true. The thing is, is that, and then, then it doesn't get caught in the system for sure. But again, is that's an individualized case of voter fraud where uh, human error fails to catch it. And it's not, but it's not like the systematic, you know, uh, level of voter fraud. Also, this twenty-one thousand claim was never substantiated in any in any way, shape, or form. I'm sure there is a few that got through, but if one side of the aisle is doing it, the other side's probably doing it as well. To assume that only Democrats are sending in these votes is ridiculous. It's individual. It's it's shitty individuals who are trying to screw our election. All right, that's to the, both of those. Uh, Louisville man. Okay, so there was a Louisville man accused of throwing away more than 100 ballots, faced federal charge. So this is a guy in uh, Louisville. Is it Louisville or Louisville? I don't know. Anyway, uh, he threw out 100 ballots. It looks like it's true. Again, it's not like some kind of systematic uh, charge. It's an individual. He didn't even open the ballots, so it could have been 100 Biden ballots for all we know. So this is no evidence to suggest some kind of conspiracy against Trump. It's just an asshole who threw away ballots. Uh, now he's going to face federal charges and he should go to jail for tampering with the election. Again, there is that human error factor I've been, I've been reinforcing from the from the beginning. Uh, this is, just, oh, changing ballots. Okay, yeah, I don't have a video for it, but there's claims where people are changing ballots. They're like writing in, yeah. It's, my understanding, it's rather, it's normal for ballot workers to circle in the choice that you did improperly. So um, in my state, in New York, I voted. I penned pen mine in. You feed it through the machine. You go home. You're done. If it feeds through and it doesn't read the right way, they make you refill it out. In these states, I guess they simply don't do that. They have the workers fill it out themselves. You, that's kind of you know evidential by them sitting there dicking around. Um, I don't know how they could change it. Simply put, it would just invalidate it if they pen penciled another circle in because you can't vote for both presidents. So maybe it's happening, but I would say that it seems like they're following normal protocol. And again, I doubt that these individuals are like, yeah, I can't wait to get arrested for voter fraud. 
Uh, you know, it's a federal it's a federal crime. Um, let's see. Now, moving forward with that, I want to talk about a couple of other things here. We talk about a lot of these instances of anti-Trump voter fraud, which we just proved that all these conspiracies were just those. They were conspiracies. But we don't often talk about things like this. Uh, this is an article from the New York Times. Uh, it's on other places like CNN, bleh, right? But it was seems to be rather credible that the Rep the Republican Party admitted to put putting fake ballot boxes around the state. That's literally that's that is like voter fraud to the max, no? Uh you know. So, not for nothing, but they yeah, they're putting up fake ballot boxes around. They would label it official drop boxes in, in LA, you know, for, I guess Fresno and Orange counties. Uh this is wrong. It's I believe it's illegal. That's literal voter fraud and it's from Republicans. I'm not saying Republicans are the only ones engaging in this. I'm just saying that we're not talking about this. You don't see you know, you don't really even see Democrats bitching about it for some reason. Probably because it's in California, it never was going to matter, but still, literal voter fraud. <clears throat> All right. Also, I would like to bring this up. We're going to talk about voter suppression very quickly. I know a lot of people in the chat would be like, would, would may rail against this, but just listen for a second. So oftentimes Republicans are the ones who try to push voter ID laws. My understanding is that they try to get IDs that are most difficult to get, but voter ID laws, they try to get those. And that's usually claimed that it's supposed to suppress black voters. Now, I personally am fine with voter ID laws. Makes perfect sense. The thing is, is that like practically speaking, um, when you go to a voting place, you know, you give all your information. You give like your your name, your address, uh, your social security, the last four digits of your social security, I believe. I think that's what they did. Um, yeah. And then they're like, okay, you're this person, sign away, go on, right? Uh, if you know all that information of someone else, you for sure could commit some level of voter fraud. Um, but I imagine it would be rather difficult because I also imagine that they they know your date of birth and your gender. So, you know, someone's like, hey, I'm going to go vote for Papa Gut. <laughs> Not my real name. <laughs> they would have to uh, be a 30 year old uh, man and know my address, my Social Security, everything. So it's already very difficult for you to even do that. You know, you can't just get there and magically do it. <laughs> Um, you have to have all this information. But let's say we did. We said, okay, like a little help uh, reduce voter fraud. Uh, licenses can be very difficult to get. I'm just letting you know when you're in a poor area. Uh, not only are they like 60 bucks just to get a regular identification card. And then if you're poor, it's hard to get. Uh, but also just the transportation of getting to a DMV. I live in a state where there's a DMV like within like I think every DMV is within about I don't know maybe a half hour an hour for themselves but if you don't have a car taking a half hour drives hard also in these states they don't have great public transportation systems so it makes it exceedingly difficult to get people there all so that you can barely maybe reduce voter fraud that hasn't even been uh, verified to even exist on the level that we wanted to Trump had like a whole voter fraud team when he first got elected they were they came up with nothing really uh, they disbanded the team quietly, you know, so it does seem like an active uh, way to do. Let's not even say to try to suppress black votes. Let's say poor votes because poor people tend to vote Democrat. Right. So I just wanted to bring that up. Um, lastly, if any of you nerds in the chat have anything that you want to say. Uh, I think the biggest conspiracy here, though, is that Kanye didn't win. So I do hope I'm fine with Trump going to the Supreme Court doing his thing. He can go for it. And I don't think that the Supreme Court judges that he nominated are going to be like, oh, we have to support Trump now. He put us in. No, that's not how it works. So there you go. I think I got every single one of those conspiracy theories. Um, let's see if we got another one. Whew, I swear to God. Where'd you whisper me one to? All right, this is just a video of Trump beating up. Beating up fucking Vince McMahon. I don't know why that doesn't seem like voter fraud to me. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, no, it looks like we got everything. Yeah, we got everything, guys. We talked about everything. We talked about the whole Michigan software problem already. We are that was like one of the first ones we did. So, yeah. How do you like that, guys? I did not tell you I genital awards last night. Right? Let's go through Trump's tweets for a bit. 
Oh, oh, here we go. Some software as Michigan County's also encountered glitch. Uh, it's a bright. <sighs> Listen, can we talk about something really quick with this whole fucking Breitbart news bullshit? If you if you send me a Breitbart article, I'm going to assume it's as about, about as credible as Pink News or. F I, w I don't know what you want me to say. Would you, like was Mission the one with the 38k? Yeah, it is. Like that was a human error. I mean, like who? This is bright, guys. This is Breitbart news. It's bright. But if you have a problem with the software that Georgia and Michigan are using, then why don't we federally fund elections and allow them to have the same technology as New York? Would you guys like to pay money for that? I'm fine with it. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's all do that. Let's all do that thing. Oh wait, there was another one we forgot. There was a claim. Hold on. There was a claim here. Um. There was a claim that there was the 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 ballots were watermarked. Yeah, yeah. They were uh, there was a claim that the ballots were watermarked so that Trump could with like a fucking I don't know nuclear fusion, I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh so that like we could see if they were like real or not. Uh <laughs> If you think that's true, you'd also have to think that all the ballots uh, were came from the federal government. They don't. All the states are, are required. They deal with their shit their own way. So that doesn't even make any logical sense because Trump's not sending out the ballots. Just so you guys know, everybody gets their own ballots themselves. So there's another one I debunk. Like there's so many of them. Like there's so once once you when you propose a conspiracy theory and it gets broken, like you guys have to keep that in mind. Like, it's nothing left. Uh, what is this? I don't really care if that's true. People saying they want to stop the counting means nothing to me. <laughs> Tens of thousands of votes were legally received after 8 p.m. on Tuesday, election day. Totally and easily changing the results. No, you fucking idiot. Listen, guys, it doesn't matter when they're received. If they're received by mail, they have till November 12th to be received. Trump's going out of his fucking mind for this. As long as they're put in by the third. Like, this is sore loser shit, man. Come on. Uh, we already read that one. Uh, just the same tweet over and over again. Is he just tweeting himself over and over again? Yeah, he seems like an idiot. What is this? That's, what's what? this? Right. And the only thing we had wrong in that report, Sean, it's worse than we thought. I've been in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania the last three days. I want you to think about this. Over 100,000 provisional ballots, record number in the state of Pennsylvania, allowing votes to be counted after the election, contrary to state law, contrary, as Mark Levin pointed out, to the U.S. Constitution. Allow Is that contrary to state? I doubt that's contrary to state law. They wouldn't have counted them. Um, he's probably talking about what <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. It's not against state law to count mail in ballots after that. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, just stop. Allowing those votes to come in after election day to not, not, to not be separated as, as was required. And the basis of judge Alito's decision tonight, cured ballots, issue number four, cured ballots, remedy ballots. Some counties allowed people to correct their ballot. Some counties did not. That is a that is a direct contradiction to what happened in Bush v. Gore back in 2000 and directly on point. And finally, the fifth. Well, why are they allowing them to correct their ballots then? Like, that just seems like a stupid law. Go change it. Issue is the transparency issue that you brought up, Sean. You're allowed to be in there and to see. But they were keeping Dave Bossy and other people out of going in and looking at what was going on. Oh, yeah, they're keeping them out of that six foot area, man. The county of the election. So this is the first time in American history where you have a party systematically set out to win an election after the election. And that's what they're doing. And it has to be stopped. It has to be stopped, just like Mark Levin said. Can we just talk about like if the government was going to com com commit some kind of a conspiracy narrative or some kind of anti-Trump narrative? Do you guys really think that like you guys would find out about it? Like you think that the government's so dumb that like they wouldn't they wouldn't like account for these things? Like they would just wave it in our faces like a bunch of assholes. No, they would come up with something much more intelligent than that. Like just simple. I don't know. Who fucking knows? Just changing people's what they people voted for. I don't know. Like this is all ridiculous. Listen, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but if you um, if you didn't want these restrictions because of the coronavirus to be implemented, maybe you should have done a better job managing the coronavirus. Mind blowing. What a fucking what a claim, huh? Uh. <laughs>
Okay. It's just like a bunch of it's just gonna be a bunch of like Breitbart conservative, you know, far right wing Fox News bullshit. Um Yeah. I wanna say thank what do you, you got so much, mail? guys, to all my Patreons and a special shout out to my Papa XL Patreons. Without all you guys, I would just be some fat dude screaming into a microphone. So thank you so much, guys. Mwah. I love you all. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face But just as a friend There's nothing weird about that I want him to pee on my face